In an interview to the Indian Express, the chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has said that the AMCA program has completed the preliminary design stage and the detailed design phase has started. He also said that the development of AMCA will lead to a quantum jump in technological capabilities of India that will have stealth features, internal weapons bay, super cruise capability and serpentine air intake. A new flight control system integration facility was inaugurated last week, and HAL has already started metal cutting for the first prototype of AMCA, and the process for obtaining CCS approval for prototype development of AMCA has also been initiated. The Defence Ministry had announced on 5th March, that it is opening up several major military design and development projects for the private sector, out of which at least four projects will be funded by the government and supported by the Indian Armed Forces, and an interesting project under this list was the development of an autonomous combat vehicle for the Indian Army. The Indian Army has now announced its plans to procure more than 700 units of autonomous combat vehicles, that will come in two different variants, one will be armed variant for combat operations, and the second variant would provide logistical support. The Indian Army plans to operate three units of armed variant and three units of logistics support variant within every armored and mechanized infantry unit. The autonomous combat vehicle project will be executed under the Make 2 category with up to 90% government funding that will be done in a phased manner and based on the progress of the program, in which the design prototype work and testing would be done by Indian companies. The RDO's Combat Vehicle Research and Development Establishment has already developed and tested three different mantra tracked unmanned ground vehicles for the Indian Army, and the DRDO is now developing an unmanned ground combat vehicle, and had released a tender for the supply of indigenous commander's panoramic site, and its integration on the unmanned ground combat vehicle. The winner of the tender must confirm that the supply chain of subsystems has been established during the development of the system, and the supply chain must be continued during the production phase of the unmanned ground combat vehicle. Private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited is developing three types of loitering munitions. The first variant is a hand-launched variant that carries a warhead of 1.5 kg and has a range of 20 km. The second is a man-portable tube-launched variant with a range of 25 km, while the third is a tube-launched variant with around 100 km range. At a time when Russia has offered its Su-75 single-engine stealth fighter jet to potential customers like India, Russian media has reported that the developers of Su-75 have studied the shortcomings of other known stealth aircraft including the Lockheed F-117A Nighthawk, and have now achieved better stability and controllability without compromising radar and visibility characteristics that will be incorporated in the Su-75 along with most advanced technologies and unique artificial intelligence features. Among the 107 subsystems and components that have been added to no import list yesterday, several items are for parts and spares for helicopters, Russian origin armor for T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks and BMP-2 vehicle, subsystems for frontline warships missiles and radar systems, many of which are currently procured from Russia. India is also keeping a close watch on the performance of Russian platforms like Su-35 Su-30 fighter jets and MI series of helicopters, S-400 system and Pansir air defense system. Two Indian defense public sector units are now working jointly to establish a semiconductor fabrication plant in India, in order to achieve self-dependency when it comes to electronics for strategic projects in military and space sectors. The technology partner is Israeli Tower Semiconductor, that has recently been acquired by Intel.